Who am I here with today? Hey, it's your boy Mecca Jackson, a.k.a. Chukwu Mecca, a.k.a. God Has Done Well, a.k.a. Creators Don't Die. You know what I'm saying? We live in the mix right now. Yes. Music overload. Let's get it. Yes, sir. The Don, the man himself. Listen, bro, we out here in Deep Ellum. We just saw you on stage with, with Tay Money on the official first day of Tay Day, man. How's it feel? How's it hey. feel? Yo, we outside right now. This some this some random ass shit, you know what I'm saying? But the universe works in mysterious ways, and we connecting the dots. Just left trees, Tay Day sold out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Tay Money, shout out to Kyle, shout out to everybody out there. And then we doing a lot of Dallas shit. We in the trenches right now, you know what I'm saying? Connecting the dots, like I said, this is for for us, for by us. You feel me? For us, by us, absolutely. Yeah. Listen, man, I want to ask you, how important is it for you to just be putting onto the city and just connecting people like worldwide? Like what you do is really phenomenal. So, kind of talk about that. Yeah. So, um, I guess literally, figuratively, I feel like I am a, a people's person. Uh, I love seeing, um, I love seeing pursue people pursue their dreams and just taking that initiative, making something out of nothing, you know what I'm saying? Or just not being scared to do it and shit, you know what I'm saying? And especially with our generation, stepping away from corporate America and taking matters into our own hands, whatever you're passionate about, and and just kind of like turning that into your into your um, your bread and butter, you know what I'm saying? Monetizing your passion, turning, waking up, turning your dreams into reality, you know what I'm saying? So I, Exactly, you know what I'm saying, and just um, with the, on not not to get into no deep shit, but with this world on Earth, humanity, we we don't fully know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to figure this shit out. So exactly. I rather us prioritize our happiness than be a slave to capitalism. So I try to, on the core inside, that's how I feel. So any way I can, I try to help anybody like get closer to their dreams because i feel like vice versa or some karmic scale it it, it would work in my favor too i don't right. know you like, know what I'm feel saying? Like the universe is going to kind of like give you a full circle moment and bless you exactly. with everything exactly so right, right now we're doing this shit right now right. it's going to be people i know that don't know y'all and vice versa it's going to be people you know that don't know me it works itself out um years down the line we're going to look back at this moment or it's going to be this video like and we're going to be at different pedestals in life. We could be on the BT red carpet or fucking right. o o Oscars red carpet. And, hey, yeah, it's, it's, it's going it's gonna to happen. And we're going to look back. Oh, yeah, remember that one night after Tay Day and Deep That's just how shit happens. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all for shit like that. And I like speaking things into existence. And, yeah, it's going to happen because we said it's going to happen. Yeah, oh my god, this is amazing. No, the, I need that advice because, you know, as a journalist, broadcaster, multimedia, pretty much on every kind of platform, I've recently delved into uh, content creating. I'm going to college right now at uh, UNT pursuing broadcast journalism, but what you said about just kind of breaking boundaries with, to, with the uh, traditional routes of what everyone else goes on, like, I think it's super important for just young creators right now to know that they can do anything. Not even just, because I got a homie right now in college, he's like, yo, I'm trying to do some business stuff, but they don't teach you about that in college. Yeah. So how important do you think it is for just young creators to pursue whatever they want? Want, no matter like what kind of boundaries are breaking and going beyond so i feel like the main thing is is just working hard really like people people also on the other scale on the other side of it people do a lot of things for the wrong reasons people don't you can't do it for clout you can't do it to look good you gotta um so as much as pe people see like the gliss and glamour but you gotta be willing to have them days when you ain't slept two three nights and shit when you you're starving you know what i'm saying when you you gotta be okay with you fuck around go homeless pursuing your dreams and shit you know that's the reality type this shit ain't this shit ain't glisten it, it ain't it is on the out scale but as much as you want that shine you got to be willing to get in the mud like you got to be willing to put in that work so i feel like so long as you're willing to grind this shit out every day put in real work you know what i'm saying not no fake work where it looks make it look like you're working but yeah a lot of people just try to do it for the wrong reasons but so long as you put in that that ground work really and really like you're really passionate about it really working hard at it Something is going to shake. You're not going to work hard at something and nothing happens from it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like um, it is important to, um, to like, get take matters into your own hands and try to make something out of nothing. But it's even more important to, 
to understand, you're going to have to work hard at it and, like, just actually, yeah, like, be disciplined enough to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? It's all about, like, how bad you, how badly you really want it. Exactly. It's about that. And, of course, some people, some people get lucky and shit, but the odds of that, the statistics of that, it's not that high. People get lucky, but it's some people that blow up overnight and then they fall off just this fast. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's no, you can't name me any artist that blew up overnight and is still in the game 10 years later. There's nobody. Every one hit wonder, everybody, they come and go and shit. Everybody feel like them snake came out of nowhere. They just, they disappear out of nowhere too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but everybody who, I, I use this metaphor all the time about taking the stairs. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to take the stairs. Like, even if it's 20 flights, you want to take the stairs. Now, you know, you've gone through every floor. You know where all the exits are. You don't met the janitor. You don't ran into this person. You know what I'm saying? Instead of taking the elevator and you can fall back just as fast on the elevator. You know what I'm saying? Or taking the escalator with the stairs. Even if you're falling down, it's going to take longer to fall down through the stairs and shit. Or you can come to the halfway to the... 19th floor and go right back up on the an elevator is just one way down one way you can get stuck there too also exactly you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah so just take the stairs put in that yeah you, your calf muscles gonna be strong as fuck by the end you know what i'm saying right but that's an interesting analogy i'm not gonna lie hold up just like everybody else. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, man. And you didn't know, you like I said, now you know the whole building. Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Because you took the stairs instead of taking the elevator yeah. the easy way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, hard work pays off, most definitely. Um, Last couple questions. I'm, oh, we got, we got seven minutes right now? Okay, we're going to wrap this up. I just want to ask you one last. Okay, no, because I want to ask you a couple more questions, bro. Like, creators don't die. How did that first come together? And, like, everything you're talking about, about you just doing everything traditional. Uh, non-traditionally and just yeah. going beyond what people expect you of is that kind of how creators don't die came about talk about that it's been just organic bro like a lot of shit i i halfway plan it but a lot of shit i just like i feel like i kind of just like float through the universe and things kind of just happen i didn't plan on meeting y'all tonight here we are that's how a lot of shit just happens like i just kind of so i might have a general idea and I'm going to work towards it, but then everything else just kind of, like, falls in place. You know what I'm saying? So with the with Creators Don't Die, as far as the venue goes, okay, before that, I was um, I was doing a lot of events, a lot of tours, a lot of festivals. Just I was just – I've been engulfed in, like, show business for a minute, booking artists, or I did a lot of fir first Texas tours with a lot of artists right. and shit. You know what I'm saying? And just kind of, yeah, same shit we've been talking, putting on for creators, putting on for the underground. So the next um, step was just having my own. It became hard to, like, get venues, you know what I'm saying? It's Deep Ellum. We made Deep Ellum what it was, you know what I'm saying? We're doing a lot of shit in Deep Ellum. We put, we put on for Deep Ellum. Before it got gentrified, we were doing a lot of creative shit out here. And then it got gentrified. Then a lot of the same venues we used to book or we used to pack out, we couldn't even book it no more. And so... The venues just became a main issue in Dallas for underground, especially. Not everybody can afford trees. Not everybody can afford House of Blues. Other than that, it's only, it was only a handful of places you could go. So that's where I kind of came in, where I'm not like OD taxing and shit. I got a lot of homies already. My calendar's booked out just with people I know, people I've worked with. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to do something dope. They need a safe space. It's not no fights, no shootings, none of that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? You're the so. person that's able to give them that creative zone to be able exactly. to, like you say, create. Literally. Yeah. Freely. Exactly. Like, and they already knew me. We already worked together. Some people I don't lost money with, I don't made money with. We just, so it's just, it was just a super organic, like, transition. You know what I'm saying? Where I now, instead of trying to, book any of the, these deep elm spots where you got to email back and forth for three months over a, a two-minute conversation it's like yeah niggas know me and shit they can like text me and we figure out a date and lock it in you know what i'm saying and i keep shit so simple and again it's just the platform for creatives where you can also do something dope at a at a scale you know what i'm saying at a at a certain taste level artistic taste level and you can cater to your 
to your demographic. So right. we can do hip hop, we do EDM, we do art shows, fashion shows, wrestling, whatever. You know what I'm right. saying? Super dope, bro. You're like creating your own world, but like allowing people the freedom to just live as if it's their own. You know what I mean? So last question I want to ask you, bro, is what do you want the people to know to know about Mecca, and what do you want the people to know about Creators Don't Die? Like, what's the mission? So, um, damn. Um, in general, like with Creators Don't Die, like every in the, the literal sense of it, you know what I'm saying? We multiply. Um, we're created in God's image to multiply to be fruitful you know what i'm saying and whether we're created in the image of god or we created god in our image either way whether um life imitates art or art imitates life either way that goes it's about figuring out the perfect uh, median and um and using that to figure yourself out but so long as you're creating something whether it's creating memories creating art creating could be content music whatever that that lasts eternally you know what right. i'm saying that lasts for eternity you feel me yeah like you can pass away this flesh this super temporary but your soul your spirit everything you you did during this lifetime energy can't be created nor destroyed it's just passed on so that kind of just continues it could be music like yeah we still motherfuckers still jamming tupac still jamming right. anybody you know what i'm saying or Whatever people inspire, they're inspiring other people. Shit like that lasts forever. Again, we don't understand what's going on fully with humanity, with life and shit. But what uh, what you know is, yeah, you create something that's going to last. You know what I'm saying? You do good, it's going to come back to you. Do good, don't do bad. And certain shit is just so simple on the core. And we just got to continue that. I don't know. I could. I could keep going. I could keep rambling. Nah, but, for, nah. You, you, you know, preaching right now. This is why. Listen, really listen. Hey, Mecca, that. creators on die music overload podcast to coming soon. Cause we need you on that, man. Like.